Well, it's a beautiful day in my neighborhood. About 82 degrees. Sunny skies. Bright blue. With a few clouds. Not too bad. The grass is green. and getting greener by the day. Oh, well, hello there, friends and family. So good to see you again today. I'm glad you could stop by a while. Because it's been a while. And I know. I seem to be doing this more often than not. But I won't apologize because things come up. And I guess I wanted to come out here and talk to you today before we start back at it. Hard and heavy. Since, uh, you know, this is tax week for me. And I'll talk about that a little bit later. But also this week, we've had several frequent severe storms. This whole past week has been at least three or four days of nothing but constant storms. And between the two waves, the first wave produced a few tornadoes throughout the southwest and southeast. And then that second wave that came through Wednesday and Thursday, well, so far they've counted 14. And my heart goes out to everyone who lost their homes and property to all those severe storms. I mean, here, we didn't get a tornado. But we did get some extremely strong winds. I think Wednesday and Thursday, we saw gusts up to, oh, anywhere from, I think the worst gust was, we didn't break 60, but we had a lot of 59.5s. So over, you know, Wednesday and Thursday, we were looking at 40 to 59.5 winds. Yeah. It was rather brisk in the deep south of Alabama. And not to mention the torrential rains, which, like I say, came through two different waves through this past week. And that shut down yard work, which I really wanted to get completed, but I could not. But then, like every time, I always wait to do my taxes, and I say every year. I'll do them ahead of time, and I'll be so organized, and they'll just be a snap. But somehow, through the year, I just lose track. Maybe you do too. And now, because of this YouTube channel, not only do I have to do my personal taxes, but I have to do business taxes too. Yep, life just gets better as you go on. But I appreciate the channel because I met so many of you. Now many of you have become friends and family too just because we have a YouTube channel. But it begs the question that I tell myself every time of year about this time when I look at my taxes I finally get them done which I did yesterday and as of this morning they've now been accepted and they're finished for the year. So, that part's off me, and we can have good cheer. Well, sort of, kind of. And you can see the neighborhood's rather active. You'll hear some hammering in the distance, maybe some dogs barking from my neighbors, Mrs. Davis and Ricky, and what have you. And of course, there's always the birds. And the kitty crew, they're around here somewhere too. They were out walking with me earlier today, and that's when I realized I really hadn't talked to y'all in quite some time. But let's just take the question that always comes to my mind this time of year after I pay my taxes. And I pay. I don't understand why everybody around me seems to get a rebate or a tax refund. I try as I may. It just don't work out. But I guess part of that's because I don't have any debt. I own my house. I have no uh, dependents. And I sit down and meticulously, once I find them all, and that was a chore this year too, you find all your receipts because you got to have them for your business taxes, which if you're a video creator on YouTube, it's a business. And that's how it's treated. Now you get a 1099. So it's sort of like a side gig but you don't get a W-2. Nobody's taking out the taxes. From what 
Google AdSense pays you. Nope, that'd be nice and sort of make it simple. But we can't do that in this modern world. So yeah, every year I say I'm going to be organized and have envelopes and all kinds of things to put everything away. And I start out good during the first part of the year, throughout the first half. But as life comes and goes and things come up and what have you, I get a little bit lax. You know what I mean? Maybe in the comments below the video, you'll tell me how good you are. It's staying organized for your taxes too. I want to know. But, yep, that's a failing on my part. I don't blame nobody but myself. So then I got to spend an inordinate amount of time hunting for those receipts. You know, for those deductibles. And then I plug them all in just to see if I can get past the standard deductions. Which, like last year and this year too, even with everything I spent, I couldn't get past the standard deductions. So in the end, it was a waste of time. And then I make mistakes because I prepare my own. You submit them and they're rejected. You got to go back through and they give you a few little hints but sometimes they're hard to find. Yep, and then you got to pay to do it now, even though you're doing it online. But like I say, the good part of it, it's all over. I paid my money. It's done. But every time I do that, I look back and take a snapshot of where I am this year in comparison, money-wise that is, to where I was last year at the same time and that's where things can get a little disheartening because you know I'm not a huge channel a commenter once put oh several videos ago they were making a comment critiquing the video telling me what their thoughts and opinions were as many do and I don't mind as long as they're not hateful and personal you know and uh towards the end of it he said well I've typed enough and I've said enough I'll leave you go to make many more millions on your YouTube channel <laughs> and I had to laugh we could all wish couldn't we just like we could wish we we're gonna win the lottery too but I am appreciative of every last dollar that the channel does make because times are hard I know they're hard for many of you, and they're just as hard for me too. So yeah, having an extra source of income has been a good thing. So I can't complain, because I know many more out there are hurting worse than I am. I mean, I got a house, I got a property, I have a car, I have food to eat, I stay, well, sort of warm in the winter and sort of cool in the summer and I'm not wet and I have my kitties to keep me company what more could you ask for but like I say every time of year when I look back and reminisce and where I was last year to where I am this year financially it brings up the question that I always ask myself is I guess I don't ask myself as much is I put it out there to ask my fictional self could you put your life out there on YouTube and if you could what would you share would it be just what you do daily or the special things you do things you really want to share with those around you would it be gardening cooking fishing hunting sports, traveling, building, construction, organization, finances, political events or world events. What would you do? Well, as you know, I try to stay away from political and pretty much world events unless I think they're going to impact me, my grandchildren and my children, and many of you. And I really, really try to stay away 
from political events here on the channel. To me, that's a personal thing. We all each make our choice, choose who we want, and go on with life. Gets back to the old saying, I'll do me, and you do you, and we'll all be better for it. So yeah, when I finally got the notifications that my taxes were accepted, they took my money, and now we're all straight, I said, well, here we are. This is the beginning of a new year. Now you might think, well, Mr. Tom, the year starts January the 1st. Well, financially, it starts on April the 15th. Because <laughs> that's when you pay out that last bill. Oh, I don't mean reoccurring bills. Oh, we'll have them every month, all month, all the way through to April 15th next year, too. But yeah, sometimes when you look at where you were and where you are, it can get a little depressing for all that you do. And it doesn't matter whether you're a YouTube creator, working in a minimum wage job, slinging fast food, working in a factory, maybe you got an IT job, or you're one of them higher up CEO types, or what have you. Financially, it all comes to an end on April the 15th and starts all over again. But, you know, here, the last day or two, I've been asking myself more. That question. I wonder what all of you would do. If you could make a YouTube channel, what would you dare share in your life? Could you do it? Would you do it? Or do you want to? Because nowadays with cell phones, I don't use my cell phone to take my videos. But you can. And they're quite good. I don't have a smartphone. I have a flip phone. So I use GoPros. And I think they're adequate. And do the job well. That too, you can comment. In the comments below the video. How do we look? on camera and that gets back to another thing do you want to be on camera every day I'm sure you're like me especially if you have underlying health conditions you have your better days your not so better days your bad days and your good days too I know I do and there's just days especially this time of year well there's many times a year if you have the conditions I have and if you've got COPD, asthma, respiratory uh, conditions, or what have you, you'll know what I mean. Pollen's high. It's hard. It really is. We'll let the neighbor girls walk on by. But yep, yeah, it's hard. So, there's that. And then you have the weather. When it's extremely bad. You know, this whole house here has had two near-miss lightning strikes since I've owned it. And on both of occasions, I've lost appliances and computers and what have you in the house. Did you know that if one of those big lightning bolts strikes right beside your house, don't got to hit it, but it strikes, that all that electricity can run up through the ground rod into your house? I never thought about it before until it happened. The first time here in 2000, and it was really bad. We were all cooking dinner inside. I was in there, the Y, Ashley and James, putting the supper together as the storm raged on above our heads. And all of a sudden there was this huge explosion right outside the kitchen window between the house and the road. Lights blew up, popped, and crashed, and everything went silent. And there was a big explosion and crash at the end of the kitchen. Not only did it blow out every light in the house, and not only did it kill every last appliance we had, but it blew the circuit breaker blocks 
you know, the whole box, slap out of the wall. Oh yeah, people were screaming and terrified. And that was a mess. And yeah, your insurance will cover some of that. And that's when you get into how great your insurance is. Of course, I got State Farm. And they prorate everything. Well, the refrigerator's this old, it's only worth this, the freezer's this old, and the story went on and on. Your computer's this old, it's only worth this, your air, you know what I'm talking about, if you've ever been through that. Every last thing they're gonna pay against is prorated. And the older it is, less you'll get so that's a big financial hit but I, we had it happen here again I think it was in 2007 or 2008 it didn't get everything and you might say well Mr. Tom you should have all the unsurge strips well yes I did yep yeah. and I'll tell you something about a surge strip you know, they got them guarantees. They'll pay 25000 or some astronomical amount. Yeah. Look into that. And tell me how your experience is. <laughs> to make it the short answer, it didn't work out. So like this past week, when these strong storms come by, I tend to unplug everything I want to keep till the storm passes by. Especially my computers, my cameras, my phone. You know, things you know, I've, I've grown to cherish. Like my refrigerator and freezer and my microwave and my convection oven. I unplug it all. TVs, everything. Because I don't want to take another chance and depend on that $25,000 guarantee that some Chinese company put on a surge strip. I'm just saying. In case you didn't know. So yeah, we had all that going on this week. I had my taxes to get done. And pay. And then, the last day or two, just been put in thought. And how I want to proceed this year. Since this is the beginning of my financial year. And as always, I need to make back <laughs> the money I just sent. Uncle Gov. So yeah, we got to get on with it. So if you would, think about it in the comments. I'd just like to know how many of you could pick up your phone or camera every day or say every other day or maybe two to three times a week and video something. Do you got the time? Do you got the want to? Do you have the skills? The computer? And everything to do it in the software or would you be even willing to buy it because you know you can make some extra bucks right here on YouTube and I'm appreciative for every last one I'm especially appreciative for the super thanks the cards and letters and things that arrive many of you help out with the kitty crew sending them treats and food Always appreciated, never expected. We want to thank you too. So yeah, it's because of all that that our life's better here. And I wish your life could be better too. And maybe you can do it too. Maybe you can start a YouTube channel. Maybe you have a unique skill or a desire and passion that you'd like to share. Maybe it's not with everybody, because mine didn't start out that way. It started out with just wanting to share my life and document it for my grandchildren and my children. So when I'm gone, there'll be a little bit left of Papa Tom for them to watch. I think that's a special thing. And I still hold that in my mind every day. And just like today, when I really wasn't feeling up to coming out here and grabbing the camera and sitting with you, I said, well, if nothing more, this is for my children and grandchildren too. And now, like I say, so many of you that are friends and family here as well, that I've got to know through the comments. 
below the video. So yeah, that'd be interesting. If you could, would you? Yep. I mean, in this day and time of this rampant inflation, which they say is 6%, when we all know it's 30 to 40 to 50, depending on what you buy, everything's went up sky high. And it doesn't seem to be stopping because March figures were pretty sad. Just for the month of March, prices went up 3.5%. That's a month, not a year. Yeah, will it ever stop? Who's to know where the greed will finally cease? So hey, until I, the kitty crew, you know them all, and the little princess of the house, Gracie, my feathered friends, and the lovely weather here in the deep south of Alabama, see you on that next episode of Mr. Tom's Neighborhood. Y'all take care. Stay safe out there. May God bless you as you bless those in your lives. Goodbye for now. Well, Cleo, that was a mouthful, wasn't it? Don't bite me. Lord, girl. Are you ready for supper? Are you? Are you? Okay. Let Papa get up and get in there and see you about Yep, we gotta make the kitty crew chow. It's Sunday. It's tuna day. And then we gotta make ours too. Cleo, that storm's got mess in your water dish. The porch is a mess. We gotta clean up. Yep, we do. Well, you chill here. I'm gonna brush my bottom off and head on in. And start the grub. <laughs> yep, she's relaxing. On the front porch, like we all should. Later, all.